Hi, welcome to another tutorial. I will show you the simple VBL doors and I'm going to try to keep this as short and fast as possible. But I do want to show you uh, the advantages of the tool. So what I'm going to use is a uh, nice image of a uh, cabin. Uh, there's no VBL obviously. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is apply VBL in the usual way. Nope, not that way, but this way. So we have a block over here. We have a block over here. We have one. Zoom in a bit so it's a bit more accurate here. And then another one there. Okay. So that's all the VBL. You can see that the doors now are uh, covered by VBL. Um, so if we also put in a small token, let's do that as well. Let's take this dragon here. Okay. Give the dragon some vision. Let's make it a PC. Okay. And you can see that the dragon has limited sight and cannot uh, look beyond the walls. Okay, so how do the simple doors work? Good. Well, you have the uh, library token, which you can drag and drop on the map. And you have a bunch of um, macros, which you can find on the selection panel. Uh, drag the big green buttons into your campaign panel. You don't have to use them all, but well, it's probably easier. So the all four. One thing, when you drag it on the map, you only have to do this when you drag it. Uh, the auto campaign load will take care of it, but the first time you have to hit initialize. That's it. That's uh, that's important to, uh, to get this thing working. Now you can uh, uh, you can put put this on another map as you like. But if you create a door, you see here a very tiny door. Uh, it's always placed in the middle of your screen, and we're going to place it in the middle. Uh, you can keep hitting the uh, replace door. You can also do. Uh, Ctrl C as in copy and Ctrl V as in paste to place this a bit faster over all doors. Like this, there's one over here, and there's one over here. Oh, sorry, no, it's over here. And those are all the doors. Now, if you look at the chat, you can see that as soon as I uh, 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 drag the door on the map, then the door's function is turned off. New door created. Uh, you have to toggle the door function on again. You can toggle it off again. If you toggle it off, you can move them around. If you turn them on, that's the whole point of these things is you select it and it opens. What does that mean it opens? Well, that means that it's open. So they can go in and close it again. And as you can see, you can't look out anymore. You can open these two doors. And... And you can close them again. Okay, so that was the basic stuff. Um, a bit more advanced stuff. Um, it's not much uh, more advanced, but as you can see, the PBL of this door, if I open it, um, is roughly, or no, actually not roughly, it's exactly one uh, cell uh, wide. It's probably easier to see if I close it again and put it in the middle of a uh, of a cell. As you can see, if I toggle door functions, it automatically closes all doors. It's just to prevent any bugs from happening. I click it. Uh, you see that um, uh, one cell with is uh, has been removed. Now um, the trick is is that I can change the size of this token and as you can see the size is diminutive for all this um, if I set it to fine it will be 75% uh, of a uh, cell width so 0 0.75 uh, cell width uh, diminutive tiny small are all one cell and medium for example will be so I can show you two cells so this is a double door. Every step beyond that, uh, every step beyond that in size, 
of size, so large will be another cell, huge another cell, etc. Keep in mind that um, it doesn't check for any VBL uh, around it, so uh, basically what this token does is remove the entire VBL structure for the size that it's representing. So what do I mean with that? Um, let me open the door. That means this. So it doesn't matter how the wall is orientated, but you have to keep in mind that you can see it here. If it gets too close to other VBL, uh, you have to either adjust the position of the door or uh, make it a bit smaller so it actually fits. Okay. The final trick um, that's in here is uh, this function, convert to door. Now, I made a small adaptation to this dragon. Any token that has both, well, they all always have a, a, a portrait, uh, not a portrait, sorry, uh, they have a token image and they have an handout, you can turn into a door. And you simply do that by clicking convert to door. And now this token is a door. Um, clicking on it uh, means it will swap to the other image. Uh, it will also mean that it will change the VBL structure. You can see it a little bit here, but let's make it a bit more clear by moving it over here. So you can see. Okay. Put the door on again. Door on. Open it. Uh, you can already see it at the, at the outline. But uh, then the token acts as a door. So you can change anything in a door uh, which you like. Uh, we'll provide a bit more images. There are nicer images um, already for these, but um, then you know. Okay, that concludes the simple VBL doors. Uh, thank you for watching and until next time. Oh, and um, if you have any further questions, you, you can find me on Discord. I'll leave the link in the comments.